Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Misfits Racing League action. It's time for Tier 1 Racing. My name is Striffium, and here solo this evening, unfortunately, my good man Unicorn is out sick. And that's, of course, something you never like to see. So, please, everyone, wish Unicorn well, as I really, really hope he gets better speedy. Alright. Fast, right? That's what we're about here. Racing, fast, speedy recovery. Get it? See what I did there? Alright. It is Russia. We are here for Tier 1. It is the third round of 15 rounds in the division. And with that said, well, let's just take a look really quick at this Russian circuit. Sochi, 18 turns of intensity, 5.848 kilometers, 3.633 miles, the track distance. And man, oh man, has it ever been a week of racing around here. We've already had five extremely, extremely wild campaigns here around the Sochi Autodrome. Next week, for all of the grids, we're going to be heading to another very iconic circuit in Spa. We didn't quite get to see the race we wanted last week in Formula 1. We had a nice endurance race, however. But next week, we're going to be going there for seven rounds of racing with all the divisions. And then we have Italy, Japan, Britain, Azerbaijan, Hungary, Singapore, France, Spain, Austria, Mexico, and of course, Brazil. With that, real quick, as we are getting into session here, Brain Stew, Shenjay, Yar are your top three in this Drivers' Championship. Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin, and Alfa Tauri are the Constructors' Championship leaders in that order as well. And well, with that, we are just about going into the racing action here. There we go. Man, oh man. I am very excited for this race. We have 20 drivers on the grid today for the Tier 1 Racing Division. And, well, Brain Stew wanting to continue his streak as he's been off to a very, very good race start here. Or season start, we'll say. Not race start, necessarily. Not yet, anyway. We'll have to see how things unfold in Russia. I'd like to see the roll of the dice, however. Clear skies as far as the qualifying is concerned. We'll just have to see how things look once we get into the race with a weather report. But we can see now 18 minutes on the clock counting down. And we have 20 drivers on this grid. Taking you through it, we have Yar. Of course, he is in the Aston Martin. We have Mark. He's in the Alpine. We have Brownie in the McLaren. Remco Van Putin in the Haas. We have Jayak in the Alfa Romeo with Verdex in one of the Williams. Eruption in one of the Mercedes Larzen in the partnering Alpine. Taking a look at who the first driver out of the pit lane is. That's Neon. He's here in reserve capacity today. Filling in for Brain Stew. So Brain Stew unable to make the race today. And he's got quite the rapid driver here to fill in for him. Neon who has graced his presence in this Tier 1 division last season. Very, very good runs through that division for him, and his teammate was Ace at the time. We take a look. We have Ben on the grid in the Ferrari. Fred in the other Aston Martin. Scars here as well. Freeware. Magnetar. We've got Moon in the other Haas with Mr. Jonathan Shen in the other Alpha Tauri. Neon in that Alfa Romeo just coming through Sector 2. We saw some very interesting crashes in this section of circuit this week. Juan Lu. He is in the other Williams. Mr. Best Mate in the partnering Mercedes. And we have Mr. Dimitriou and Candy King. 19 and 20 on the timing tower presently in the Red Bulls. Alrighty now. Come through sector three, just through turn 15 here into turn 16. And these left rights can be very tricky, especially when the degradation sets in later in the race. But it is going to be Neon charging through into turn 17 to give us a first lap here around Sochi. And well, here we go. Out of turn 18, very, very short line there to the start finish line. As you come out of 18, it's literally right there. Neon tapping through this near invisible turn one, this very fast right-hander pushing down through into what I would call the official turn one. This good right-hander, this hard-breaking right-hander where you come into this very long, winding turn three. And then you can see a lot of overtaking opportunities potentially happening through this section of circuit. We've seen this week Neon now running, coming on the outside of four into five. 
very clean lap here so far. Might have gone a little bit wide coming through four earlier, but very nice as he comes through six, seven, and now eight. slide there that's going to cost him massively he's not going to be happy about that you just see he got on the brakes and he kind of just drifted through that turn there we go a 29 7 2 4 Verdex at 29756 will be the second run on the timing tower. Freeware says hello. It's a 29 triple five out of the German. Mark in the Alpine, a nice run, a very nice run at that. I have to say a 29825. He's done that on the mediums. Now it was Ben who went provisional for just a moment. Fred jumps him by just seven milliseconds. So things very tight. Very tight on that front row provisionally right now. Ben had a great time at 29.276, but it was the 29.269 out of Fred that bested him. Magnetar, 29.059. The McLaren will be thrilled about that. Yar in the other. Aston Martin is flying. Eruption will be coming through to the line. Jayak pushes a 28.989 the first time into the 28s here already with 13 minutes remaining. Eruption a 29.206. He jumps Fred. Things are getting very fast, very quickly here at the top end of the spear in this qualifying session. Scars not on a valid run. Juan Lu also not on a valid run. We're looking to see who we can find pushing laps through to this line. Who can get themselves into that top five or top ten right now? Someone just crossed there. That was Candy King. The Red Bull, a 29.667. We'll see who else has the time to bring through to the line. Nothing doing just yet from anyone. Shen J. No time from him yet. And everyone looking to see where he is. Remco Van Putin, no time. A little bit uh, quiet right now. Not too many racers on active flyers that we've been able to see really with improvement. Of course, let us know who in the session you're rooting for, who you are, of course, wanting to see on that top step. Really curious to see how many fans we have and of who the fans are here for. We have a lot of great drivers here in the Tier 1 division. Fred right now on the move in the Aston Martin. Purple through Sector 1. Ooh, he just dips a toe offline there, and that is going to blow the lap. Not going to be happy about that. Are. Nothing doing out of him. Slowing things down. Yeah, Fred with the invalidated run right now on his way back in to the pit lane. Birdex actively flying with an improvement, apparently, according to our sector delta at the top right but he's going to be coming into sector two right now and we'll see what it truly is as he comes out of turn four he's found a tenth okay so a 0 0.119 improvement we saw fred just a moment ago right where vertex came through he stepped a, an extra couple millimeters off to that left and validated the run vertex keeping it a little bit tighter to keep things nice and tight keep that run flowing 
without invalidation. 29.756 is the time that Verdex is looking to improve on. And as it stands coming through into Sector 3, he is looking to improve. The improvement right now can shoot him ahead of Freeware into 6th position on the rear of Ben. See what the time is now through out of turn 18 to the line. It is good enough to beat Freeware. It jumps him into sixth position. He beats Freeware by 12 milliseconds and gets himself right on the rear of the Ferrari. Not too many drivers flying, but it is Dimitri. No time on the board in the Red Bull. He'll be wanting to get closer to his teammate this evening in Mr. Candy King with the 17 now for the Red Bull. A little bit of a snap there on the exit. What can he find to the line now? It is good for seventh position. A 29.544. Solid run there. Larzen is pushing. Shen is pushing. Wan Lu is pushing. Here we go, one loot of the line now. He goes ninth quickest here. Dayak begins a lap. Magnetar flying, looking to improve a 29.059. Does Magnetar have enough to find pole position here? Surely he does. The question is whether or not it would stand given all of these drivers on the move. To the line. Yes, a 28.707. A solid run there from the McLaren into now provisional pole position for Magnetar. Great run there. Eruption does not have an answer for Magnetar. However, he does best Jayak. Jayak on the move with improvement in hand. I don't think he's able... No, he invalidated right there. He is not going to improve on that. Gaps right now. First all the way down to 13th position. One second where Neon in the reserving Alfa Romeo is sitting. Alphatari coming into the pit lane right now. If not, slowing down to begin a run right now. Larzen with the fuel light on is not going to be able to get anything to that line. A 29.176 solid from him. Yar. Well, a 28.536 definitely quick enough, quick enough to get yourself into pole position. with that red track map right now 
Scars, no time on the board for him just yet, but he is about to change that. Now out of turn 18, here we have it. 29.789 and 1.2 seconds off of pole and 1.2 seconds off of a 28.536. So this grid's so tight right now. Remco Van Putin, best mate, no times coming out of them at the moment. We are nearing the end of qualifying. There is a potential little bit of desync. Four and a half minutes remaining now. A lot of drivers in the pit lane. Calm before the storm, as Mikhail calls it. Fred pushing through. Not Fred, excuse me. Verdex pushing through sector two. And the only driver actively flying... Pushing through into the sector two and three split. We'll have to see what he has been able to find. It is a tenth and some change of 122 or 0 122, the improvement so far. Coming through now, 15, 16. Trying to find all that traction he can on exit, pushing to the pit lane. So, not happy with the end result of this lap. Cars on the way in. Now we will be looking along to find our next flyer, and I do believe it will be one of the Haas drivers. It's going to be Moon. A 31069 presently the time on the board for the Haas, and we'll just have to see what Moon can do about it. All eyes will be on the Haas as he is the next driver to take us on a genuine flyer. I think he just let eruption by no that was best mate best mate is going to now start a flyer so well <laughs> camera assignment has now just been switched but of course best mate a good driver to get a look at considering no time yet on the board let's push down into turn two now with the mercedes dropping things to third short shift back up to fourth a little bit of a slide on exit getting on the power out of turn four here he dropped throttle there he invalidated that's not good at all next up behind him will of course be moon moon now coming up on that mercedes best mate Important for him to get out of the line here. Big drift coming out of Moon. He's dropped the lap. Ben on for some good improvement. Nearly two tenths right now as he comes into sector three. If he's able to find three tenths, he will jump into the top five. Did he get it across? He gets into the top five. It's a 29-031, what I think will be his final run of the evening. Yar. That 28.536, a very solid run here. Magnetar not improving. Neon, a 28.717. Here comes Eruption. Currently fourth position. Coming down to the wire for the Mercedes to the line. 
there's a great improvement, but it's not enough to capture Neon Brownie. He comes through into fifth position at 28.954. A great run from him. There's been an issue. Larzen has crashed that car. And man, moon tempting fate there. Oh, wait a moment. Moon is now out as well. Just as we came off camera there. And the Williams. Holy. That was scary. Who was that in that Williams? Wait a minute. Is that another car out there? That was a very... I mentioned earlier in the session that that is an area of track that presents some very difficult traction zones for these drivers. Now we are getting to the end of our qualifying. The checkered flag has been drawn. A variety of drivers here still on circuit. Magnetar is pushing to the line, looking to find some time. Is it good enough for pole? Can he undo what Yar has up there right now? The McLaren, he does not improve. I think I am quite sure that this is going to be the end of our qualifying session this evening 20 drivers in the session 19 set times best mate unfortunately not getting a time on the board the separation from first position all the way down to 16th is one second separation from first to 10th six tenths separation from first to fifth half a second less or less than half a second this is a very very intense grid it's tier one very very excited for this russian gp of course, everyone tuning in, thank you for being here. Share the stream. Tell your friends. MRL Tier 1 is live. My name is Strifium. I'm here solo today. Unfortunately, my good man Unicorn is under the weather, and so we'll wish him a speedy recovery and a return soon, hopefully. Yar! The Aston Martin, what a lap. Very, very good run there. 28.536. Magnetar. Well, the Scotsman in the McLaren this evening, a 28.707, the best effort in qualifying for him. Very, very tight up. And with Neon, you look at the separation, only a hundredth between them, two and three. Eruption, he is there in fourth on the second row, and we have Brownie rounding out the top five. My, oh my, this is just a seriously stacked lineup as we come through into 27 laps around Sochi. Wow. I am thrilled. Very, very thrilled. Jumping in to the race. Clear skies. Welcome to the race now. And 20 drivers, formation lap. Everyone getting their setups dialed in. And with their setups, they'll be adjusting. Well, for the back 10, which tires they wish to start on. They'll be adjusting fuel loads, potential front wing changes. They have a couple of things they can still play with. And given this grid, everyone being so tight, the tire strategy really, really something that I'd like to see. I wonder if we see any hards. I think we may see some soft gambles in the back 10. But we'll find out in just about 15 seconds here. Let us know in the chat who you have got for this race win. We want to see those predictions we want to know who you're rooting for. And of course, as always, my personal favorite question to ask the chat, how many safety cars do you feel as though we are going to see in this evening's campaign? My personal guess, I think we will see two full safety cars and a VSC. We'll just see how we'll just see how uh, my prediction goes. I, I want everyone to have a good race, but it is Russia, and given how many races I've seen this week, I just have a feeling we might just get some fireworks and drama yar magnetar neon are your top three here ahead of 27 laps of serious intensity in sochi eruption brownie jayak 
Freeware, Ben, Fred, Verdex, all on the soft compound tires following suit to round out the top 10. Larzen, Jonathan Shen, Candy King, Scars, and D. Dimitriou all the way down from 11th to 15th position, opting for the mediums. Then we break into the bottom five where things get a little bit different. Juan Lu, Remco Van Putin, and Mark all opting for the soft tire selection, which is a very, very bold strategy. Could be looking for early position changes. Could get an early safety car after those changes. There's a lot of strategies at play here when you see the softs come out into the backfield. With that, to round out the grid on the 10th and final row, we have Moon and Best Mate on the medium compound tires. Best Mate in the Mercedes at the back. And well... I am thoroughly excited to get into action here for what is going to be the third round of this Tier 1 division. Next week we'll be going to Spa, so I imagine all of these racers here wanting to have themselves a heck of a good drive leading into an iconic circuit like that. Yar, Magnetar, between the pair of them, it's going to be all about this race launch and someone who's good at race launches, Neon. Neon's going to be looking for early position, you know it, right off the get-go. Alrighty, buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the grid. Yar, Magnetar taking their positions, taking their slots on the grid. Best mate on the rear of Moon. Approaching their starting positions. And we are just about ready to go racing here in Russia. Finally, after a thrilling qualifying, a short formation lap, it's time. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grid for five red lights here in Sochi. The engines are revving, the lights are on, and well, now it's gone dark, and we are off the line here. Eruption having a great look. There's Neon on the inside of Magnetar and Yar already. Things very tight between these five. As you look at Brownie, he's there in the McLaren as well. Everyone with a super charge. The McLaren's looking very good right now. Brownie's there. He's on the outside of the Mercedes. A little bit of a tap. Everyone's going all right except Ben. Ben in the Ferrari. There has been an issue. It's not just Ben. Dimitriou has also been caught up, and he is in the wall in the Red Bull. Meanwhile, there's still position exchanging. Coming through turn four is Fred. Hunting down Jayak. Verdex on the rear with Neon. Neon's dropped a number of positions here. He was in third at the start of this race. He's now in sixth with an Aston Martin sitting in his rearview mirrors. What a race start. Very, very, very explosive race start here, as can be expected. Everyone very tight in this grid, but the train is starting to take a little bit of a better shape as we make our way through Sector 2. Remco Van Putin on the rear of Yar. My, oh my, is he ever tight. And we take a look at the position changes right now. Yar has had the worst race start. He's dropped eight positions from pole. Remco Van Putin, the Dutchman, is not the driver you want to be falling into either because he's going to make things quite scary. Look at this. Larsen around the outside instantaneously. Instantaneously taking advantage of Remco Van Putin on these softs. The traction right now being afforded to the Dutchman is going to give him a defensive capability. Look at this battle that's already started. And what's happened up What's happened? Nothing's happened. It's just the timing tower giving us a heart attack. What a fight coming out of Larzen and Remco Van Putin, and it's not done just yet. Remco held on, but Larzen's still there. Look at this battle. Mmm, it's what you love to see. Chenjay getting snuck in there as well. Larzen not going to be happy about that. Time it's our. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Ben into the pit lane. Dimitri into the pit lane after that opening lap issue. Magnetar in a commanding lead of this race right now. Eruption has not had an answer. Ooh, 
very tight here. Verdex under threat from not one but both Aston Martins. The other Aston Martin, of course, Yar. Looking for a move, a touch of contact, a little bit of wheel rubbing right there. They don't want to get too loose because Remco will be looking to pick up the crumbs from the dinner table if they keep fighting. DRS enabled now officially here on lap three. Yar on the rear vertex. Nothing doing just yet. Up at the front, Freeware and Brownie. Nothing close enough just yet from them. The train in full-blown formation right now. We jump back as it's Mark and Best Mate. They exchange Best Mate moving into 17th position. Uh-oh. Neon has spun or there was contact. I'm not sure if it was a spin or contact, but he does have damage on the front right end plate of the Alfa Romeo. That was coming through turn three into turn four. I don't know what happened there. Juan Lu on the rear of Scars. Position changes. Well, Moon's made up seven. Remco's made up eight. It's a good day for the Haas drivers so far. Time and Tower now giving us an actual picture of where we are at with things, and I have to say the train is in quite the formation right now. The entirety of the grid is in the train, with the exception of Best Mate. Now it's going to come down to a few different things. Tire management, you're going to have your ERS management at play as well. You're going to really want to watch what risks you take and what mistakes you make. Fred goes extremely wide. Verdex on the rear of him takes a three-second time penalty to now make it two three-second time penalties on this grid. And they're both being held, surprisingly enough, by the Williams. Brownie and Freeware. Freeware without the DRS. And that is not good if you are Freeware in that Alpha Tire right now. It's German versus German. Freeware under immediate threat as that DRS is going to be such a disadvantage now for him. 1.6 seconds and growing the gap to eruption. And eruption is just dancing in and around the DRS range of Magnetar as well. What's happened here? There's been an issue coming out of 16. Moon, Scars, would appear to have been caught up. I don't know if it was spins. I don't know if it was contact, but Brownie and Freeware have now exchanged as Brownie pushes through on the inside to take third. Mark, ooh, best mates there as well. Best mate around the outside. A little bit of a squeeze, a little bit of contact, but he is going to navigate his way through into 15th position. A neat move there. Scars, not thrilled about it, is going to push back, and he gets on the brakes, but big slide coming out of best mate is going to drop him back into 16th position as Scars gets back through, taking advantage of the mistake. Fred. Fred's had an issue, a big issue. There is no front end on that Aston Martin, and he's just shunted that wall on the left-hand side. Yar makes it a, a, in front of Mr. Verdex. Scars and Mark tight, tight, tight right now. Scars a little bit of a... Shove on the rear of the Alpine as Juan Lu has also now moved ahead of Fred and Candy King will be getting it done as well around the outside. Remco Van Putin. 
Looks like Verdex into the pit lane as Jonathan Shen hunts down the Dutchman. And here we go. It's going to be a move. It's going to be an opportunity taken. A little bit of a squeeze coming out there. And there's been a retirement of one of the Haas drivers. Moon has called it in the pit lane. Remco back on the inside of Shenjay. He does not send it. And six laps of contention so far. It's been a good race. It's been a tight, tight race. And some of these drivers in great position few drivers taking some risks we've seen some daring moves a bit of a slip coming from Remco there could be starting to feel these softs on the rear of a driver like Shenjay you can see that gap starting to kind of break down and extend now Shenjay within DRS just dancing in and around that one second range of yar ahead and that's exactly where you want to be as a medium runner bring yourself into DRS range of a soft train on the mediums and you are going to find treasure at the end of that rainbow my friend Mo no doubt Candy King on the rear of Juan Lu. Penalty in it for Juan Lu right now, but I think he's under major threat, and it's again a medium runner versus soft runner, where I think these mediums have come in to pay dividends. In front of them, we're going to jump with Jayak. He's not going to get it done just yet. Back to Candy King and Juan Lu. Ooh, a little bit of a move there from Juan Lu. I don't know if that was just a misjudgment from Candy King. Candy King pushing through, getting the position. Cars and best mate, they exchange as Freewear is still under threat from the Alfa Romeo. Gap right now from leader all the way down to Scars, 17.8 seconds, meaning that there really isn't a lot of opportunity to recover from mistakes. What's happened now? A yellow flag. That is Neon. He has spun. It would appear same section of circuit. We saw him struggle coming out of last time. He came through three and four. He took a bit of that right end plate off. Now he's in another position where he has spun. I don't know if he has visible damage, but Yar has spun as well. Brownie charging eruption here. Here's a clear cut move. And there it is up the inside and just wave goodbye as the DRS gives Brownie a very nice advantage into second position. And ladies and gentlemen, it is a McLaren running 1-2. Pit stops coming out of Juan Lu and Mark right now. Soft runners have yet to come in. We really haven't had any big shakeups yet in this race. We haven't had a safety car, knock wood. We haven't had a VSC, knock wood. I imagine a lot of the drivers in this grid want to see the great strategy play that's going on play out through to the end. You've got Brownie right now. He just overtook eruption not too long ago. He's showing great pace on the rear or in front of this Mercedes. It's just not been there for eruption to catch up and the great thing here is that brownie and magnetar they're on a strategy that's the same but there's separation there freeware is in jayax in all right so now the dominoes have begun to get tipped on over and we'll just have to see where things land if you're magnetar or brownie I wonder who out of the two McLarens comes in first. That is a big question. Who out of the two McLarens comes in first? Is it Brownie? 
I mean, if they're not communicating, Magnetar will be the indicator. So if Magnetar stays out, Brownie comes in shortly. Yar within half a second on the softs of Candy King. Eruption, half a second on Brownie. You have scars on the rear of Best Mate as they're in the points. Rear, he's out in 10th position with that penalty. Jayak in the net one second range as they came into the pits not too, too long ago. Remco as well. Things are really going to start to take shape on strategy. There goes Magnetar. He is in, and here comes Eruption. So Brownie is the long-form runner for the McLarens. Now the gap. Let's take a look here. Brownie and Shen, 1.8, just dancing in and around that two-second range for the medium versus soft. Fewer freer comes out here. Does he get ahead of Magnetar? I think he's gonna. Oh, it's tight. No, okay, so he doesn't get Magnetar. He gets Eruption. Alrighty then, that's very interesting. Jayak also gets Eruption. Nice strategies going on here. Three second time penalty, not so nice though. I wonder if Brownie really, really stays out long here or if he comes in. That's a question I have for myself is if he extends this Waits for a safety car, waits to see if something gets shaken up. No, he's on his way in. Alrighty. That, ladies and gentlemen, as Brownie comes into the pit lane here on lap 11, has given Mr. Jonathan Shen the lead of this campaign. He's got the leadership drive keys we'll call it and now we've got the pit stop coming out for brownie where does he land in comparison to magnetar magnetar had that undercut of course we saw it was about two seconds that overextension i think brownie's best bet might have been to come in on nine he's right behind eruption he's got to do some work to get in front of these guys eruption excuse me Jayak, Freeware, my oh my, it's a three-car battle right now for seventh position. A little bit of a squeeze coming out there for Jayak as he's heavily exposed to Eruption. Eruption gets eighth position, moving through on the Alfa Romeo, and that is not where you want to find yourself. In a battle like this, if you are in a battle like this, a driver like Brownie who's just come out of the pit lane is more than likely going to just sit there and get involved immediately because he is not going to piss around and sit there and go, okay, you guys battle it out. He wants to get through. He wants to get back to his teammate in Magnetar. Remco Van Putin, two seconds in waiting right behind them. Serious fight for seventh position, and Freer at that penalty is going to cost him undoubtedly at the end. Eruption's looking. You know how hungry he is in that Mercedes. He wants the Salfa Tauri. All right, now rear wing. Look at this. Wide open. Freeware. Sitting duck. There is nothing here that he can do. Now, there goes Jayak. You can see the Alfa Romeo. Does he get side to side with the Mercedes? Yes, he does. It's wheel to wheel as we come through one. There goes Jayak. He has gone into the wall. 
No damage from what we can see. Brownie moves through. Remco moves through. And Verdex as well. Juan Lu. My oh my. Eruption right now. Moving through with Freeware still. We saw Eruption get in front of Freeware. Coming through into turn two. Jayak really shaking things up. Freeware not going down without a fight. Brownie here as anticipated in the battle. What a race. Eruption. Really going to hunt down Freeware here. You're going to see it again. That rear wing wide open. Nothing for Freeware. His defensive capability is going to be all about positioning here. Can he go later on the brakes here? Is he going to try it? I mean, there's nothing that he can do in that situation against Eruption. The, just, the power of that DRS too strong. We've had another issue Neon, no front wing in the Alfa Romeo. What has happened to this driver? All right, now we have freeware eruption. You see, Eruption wants to just pull away from Freeware now. But the tires, not that different between these two. And Brownie there, we saw German versus German earlier. Yar pushing through ahead of Juan Lu. See what Brownie's able to do in that duel once again. Yeah, I think that... Brownie is going to have some good tires at the end. I mean, he went longest on those softs, but I think it cost him a little bit more than he had anticipated or had wanted it to. There's still a lot of drivers yet to come into the pits here up at the top end. You have five drivers. Jonathan Shen, Larzen, Candy King, Best Mate, and Scars are all yet to pit there. And Larson has a penalty. Best mate has had not just, well, he's had a huge issue in that Mercedes, and there's fast movers coming through here. Oh my, oh my! There's a huge collision! Brownie, what on earth has this man done in the car? Brownie's been completely obliterated in that McLaren. I am shocked. I am shocked. I'm shocked. I'm I'm so sorry to have seen that. There was one action to have taken there, and that was to just, I think, remain stationary. I think it was to remain stationary in that situation. Instead, there was the racing line. Drivers had to take evasive maneuvers. Brownie was not able to. There was nothing. There was nothing that that McLaren could have done in that situation. Not a chance. I am very sorry to have seen that. That is a very big crash here. That was huge. That is really obviously, of course, that is massively, massively shaken up this race. Massively shaken up this race. The safety car has now been deployed on the 14th lap. Or 13th lap. So we now have two drivers out of this race. Take a look at the position changes just ahead of all. Jonathan Shen, a little bit anxious, I think, on his way into the... A little bit impatient on his way in there. Taking a five-second penalty just... For what? Uh, I don't know why he did that. That's a very, very... Interesting thing to do under safety car conditions. I mean, oh man, I'm still kind of. I I think you can all feel it. I think we're all kind of feeling it. We're still kind of going, what the heck just happened to shake up this race? Wow.
So Jonathan Shen leading this race now. Remco Van Putin, second position, Yar in third. Penalties right now on the board. Shen Jay, five seconds. Wan Lu, three seconds. Larzen, three seconds. Freeware, three seconds. Verdex, three seconds. We have Mark and Dimitriou as well. Three seconds. So yeah, a driver who's been struggling the entirety of this campaign. Mr. Neon. Not showing any good form today. However, he's getting a second crack potentially with this safety car as he has not yet been lapped. He's had three spins. He had an unfortunate issue coming out of turn four. Saw him with some debris. Of course, thank you everybody for hanging out and tuning in. Greatly appreciate you viewing along with all the action. My name is Striffium. I hope you've been enjoying the broadcast. And if you have, if you're new, help us out and hit that follow button. We have a ton of racing yet to come still this week as we have our Champions Division this coming Saturday, as well as a 100% distance race around Zandvoort for the Netherlands as we're going through there this weekend for IRL Formula One. So we visit every weekend there's a formula one race we can try and do a 100 percent distance race around that track so this weekend of course being zanwart going to be a great time safety car on lap 16 after a horrific crash i say horrific because it truly was brownie out of this race after having no ability to avoid a driver on the rejoin to circuit Safety car, conditions, everyone getting back to the grid. We're more than likely going to be seeing a return to green flag racing on the 17th lap. And apparently some rumors of rain coming into the chat. I haven't heard anything from the drivers. Safety car has been something previous that we've seen prolong a race to the extent of where rain can come. Of course, this is only one safety car. I don't know if this will delay the race long enough to see wet conditions or to even bring us a different compound of tire. Sky is getting a little bit darker though and it makes me feel like it is possible. Alrighty, here we have it now. Safety car is coming in. Chen Jay, the race leader now. With Mr. Remco Van Putin in second. Yar in third. It is one Lu in fourth. Jayak in fifth. Larzen in sixth. Candy King in seventh. Scars in eighth. Magnetar in ninth. And Eruption in tenth. Freeware is on the grid in 11th, Verdex in 12th, Bestmate 13th, we have Fred in 14th, Ben is here, 15th position, Dimitri 16th, Neon 17th, Mark at the rear end of the grid, two drivers are out, Moon and Brownie. Alright, let's take a look. Chen Jin out, coming through turn 17, and now 18, and where will he hammer down that throttle? Right at the line, and he is going to go away racing here, Scars and Magnetar are literally side by side. A little bit of ghosting at play there. There's been a huge crash. Magnetar coming off of turn one. What the heck? What the heck caused that? Magnetar has just been spun into the wall. There's been no yellow flag, no VSC. Scars has taken a three second time penalty. We're back to the middle of the grid as Verdex now. Freeware wheel to wheel through turn three. There's Freeware on the inside of turn four. Little bit of contact. Oh, he does he ever just get it wrapped back on the circuit?
I think I see rain. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining on lap 17, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my, oh my, has this ever been a very, very explosive race. Fred into the rear of was that Fred into the rear of freeware or freeware into the rear of Fred I don't even know but that is just what has happened on this restart these guys really getting into some sticky situations and it's about to go from sticky to real slippery here in Russia as the rain has started to come down Okay, we are hunting down Remco Van Putin. We've had an issue with Larzen. What's happened to the Alpine? He's looking the wrong way as he looks through turn three. There's Scars as well. Wait, Scars is really not having a good day today. Intermediates have come out already. Fred and Dimitri on to the enters on lap 18. It's really, really already, I think, starting to get to a point where wet tires are required. And this is something that I didn't see coming nearly as quick. This car is really struggling. It could be the softs, could be something else going on. I don't know. Yar on the rear of Remco. You can see Jonathan Shen. He's got those softs and he's pulling away some good pace here. What is the call for him though? Into the pit lane? No, he's staying out. Remco's in. Yar is in. Um, Yar is in. I think this is a big risk. Best made under threat right now. The Ferrari of Ben is on the charge. I think we're going to see the move here. Surely we're going to see the move here. Oh, on the outside for the Mercedes. Does he hold this? Ben with the good traction. Looking on the inside now of three. This is so scary through here. You can see the car sliding. Drivers are really giving it everything through turn three right now. You can see the struggles for grip. Shenjay staying out. I mean, I think that's such a bold decision. Scars. Virtual safety car has been deployed here. I'm not sure why he didn't come in. And on his way into the pit lane here. I think this is going to be perfect for him. Best mate's going to try and get in. Ben is staying out. Oh, you are crazy. That is nuts. Wow, Dimitri just took a drive-through penalty. There's been a retirement. That is Verdex in the wall. This race has really been shuffled. It's really taken a shake-up. 
I cannot. I have to hand it to Ben. This is quite the decision to stay out. And I don't know where it will land him in the end. Someone just had an issue there. That was Jayak. And man, I, I think there needs to be a steward briefing on rejoins or something because. Um, well, Brownie's crashed for starters. Look at all of these drivers on the softs. They're just getting hunted down. They're just getting hunted down. Lars in here, Ben. I mean, Ben had 10 seconds on Shenzhou at the start of this lap. He's going to lose it all here in Sector 3. I, I don't know what the call was here. And now Magnetar is on the softs. I don't, I don't know why Magnetar would have gotten on those softs. Ben, playing track position maybe. Maybe they know something. Oh my, look at how quickly Yar pushes by him. Surely you're in that car and you're saying, I need to get off of these tires. You're just watching car after car push ahead of you. has gone on that has given him the idea to stay on these I'm really confused Magnetar retires in the pit lane Eruption hunting down Remco Van Putin here. Sector one yellow flag. Who's that? That's going to be the AI controlled car of Magnetar on exit of the pit lane as he retired a few moments ago. Ben has been now overtaken by Mark. Yeah, it's a very interesting strategy call there. Most definitely, I mean, the rain is still dro is still dropping here, so no real look at in the next five laps. I think any kind of dry conditions, eruption on the rear Remco Van Putin, the tightest gap on track right now. You've got Juan Lu there. He's got penalties, six seconds of the penalties, and that's going to really cost him some position here. But he's had a, a decent drive, all things said and considered, as has 
Jonathan Shen, Candy King, Remco, they've all made up a number of positions. Best Mate has made up a number of positions as well. It's always great to see. Ben finally coming into the pit lane. Intermediates, yeah. Well, far too late. He had a chance at points. He had a chance at points. He threw that right down. He just said nope. Time for dries now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Eruption just sitting on Remco here. Yellow flag right now. Was that? I think it was Ben. Brad, front left end plate damage. Not going well in the Aston Martin now. We're on lap 24 of 27. Things have really quieted down here in the final stages of the race, of course. We're really getting some strategy play. The rain has come out. I wasn't expecting rain. I don't think a lot of us were expecting rain. Of course, appreciate everybody tuning into the cast. We have interviews with our top three after the race, and we're going to send off a raid as we always do. And Thank you, everyone, for being here. My name's Strifium. I'm here solo today because my good man Unicorn is unfortunately under the weather. He's sick and he's out of the commentary today. So hopefully we'll wish him a speedy recovery and back to racing with me on Saturday for Champions and Endurance. Eruption right on the inside of Remco at the very least he's looking at it and if a fight should really start to form between these two best mate neon Jayak they're all there another issue it would appear for Larzen this time looking for that front right does he have damage no So the rain has stopped. The rain has stopped. But I don't know if... Oh my, Fred. Fred is out in turn three. I was just about to say, I don't think it softs are a good idea. Well, you're not going to get your car going like that, Fred.
A lot of penalties on the board right now. Larzen really not having a good time there. Was that is that Larzen? Yeah, it was Larzen in turn three. Jayak is in on the penultimate lap. Wow. That is such a crazy, crazy weather dynamic. The fact that people are just going to get on softs here at the end. I mean, that's wild. An ultimate lap of the race. What Ben was doing makes so much sense. It really makes so much sense. And it was so unfortunate to see that it wasn't enough to get him to that final you know he needed to do one or two more laps and is just he's gonna be upset I think he's gonna be upset he had he had an idea and the idea was right okay but it was just not enough time All right, now we're about to cross through now the final lap of the race. Jonathan Shen leading things. Candy King in second, and it's Yar in third right now. We're on the final lap of the race. It's been a very good drive from these top three considering, well, Yar did start on pole position. He had some issues right off the start. He dropped back a number of positions as we've had a yellow flag. Now that's Fred having some issues three out of turn four. But, of course, Jonathan Shen, Candy King up 11 positions each. To find themselves in a podium place at the end of this is a very, very good effort, to say the least. And we have Juan Lu there up 12, Remco up 12, Best made up 13 positions. A lot of the guys who are going to potentially find themselves with major points here are going to be happy with these drives. Big question is if we see any exchange between Best Mate and Neon or estimate an eruption here at the end we're going to see a little bit of an exchange potentially because of Juan Lu he has six seconds in penalties of course Chen Jui now pushing 2.8 seconds is the separation between him and Candy King and Yar has another 2.4 seconds there so all of these guys very well safe in these podium positions barring any issues as Larzen I do believe was it Larzen no it was actually well excuse me Fred's just been lapped so Fred Gonna get a little bit of an early finish to the line here, Shenjay. Coming through turn 17 now. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Alpha Tauri with the lapped car of Fred. Shenjay with the win here in Russia. It will be Candy King behind him and Yar to round out the podium. Juan Lu dropping to Remco. Eruption will also jump him with his teammate, best mate. Neon finishing 8th behind Juan Lu Freeware in ninth. Jayak to the line. Where does he finish things? He finishes things in 10th. Mark is now coming through 15. What a race. And it was a very quiet, a little bit strategical finish there. The rain coming out, presenting a very, very big curveball in the race. And then it went back to dries. We've got Mark on the softs here at the end. He will come through 11th. Takes a 5 second penalty at the line for something that I'm not aware of. But of course, just a crazy campaign overall here in Russia. We saw full wet on Monday night for the America's Tier 2 race. Now we have seen our second race this week in Russia with some wet dynamics. And it was some very interesting wet dynamics as well in this one. We're going to get some interviews here in just a second. But what a race. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I wish Unicorn was here with me because I know he would have also enjoyed the strategical play here. But we'll hopefully have him back next week for Spa and maybe on the weekend for some more commentating. But just a good race overall. Thank you, everybody, for coming through. Greatly appreciate it. 
we'll have interviews in just a moment. But yes, it is Shen J, the race win. He's going to be very happy with that after two weeks. Bahrain, Netherlands now. Shen J taking that top step in Russia. Just great, great stuff. But there we go. There we go again. The classification, Jonathan Shen, the AlphaTauri, 12th position to the win. It was Candy King in the Red Bull, the finished driver. A, th a very good, a very good run, 13th to second. And it was Yar who started on pole. He had the shaky race start. He recovers things back to third position. Remco Van Putin, 17 to fourth for him. Eruption, he started fourth. He drops back one position to finish fifth. And it was his teammate, best mate, with a great drive all the way up 14 positions into sixth. Juan Lu, 16th position to seventh. Neon started third. He drops back five slots. It was Fuhrer in ninth to, well, drop back two slots from seventh. We had Yayak. He moved back four slots. He started in sixth. Mark moves up seven positions. Ben drops back four after a very big strategy call that didn't go the right way. Dimitriou there, 15th position is where he began. He moves up a couple slots. We have Larzen, Fred, Magnetar, Scars, Verdex, Brownie, Oh, Brownie. What a very, very horrific end to his race. It was a very big crash. He couldn't avoid anything. There was a spin. There was a rejoin. And the McLaren was just out of the equation at that moment. There was just no reaction capability there. And I'm sure we'll hear from him later on. Or there will be some stewarding investigations. But man, oh, man. Really, really enjoyed that one. We're going to get interviews in just a quick moment. All right, I do believe we have an interview with our race winner. I don't know where our other two podium finishers are, but we do want to get interviews started. So we are going to just jump right in with our race winner. Joining me in the commentary booth, what a superlative campaign, all things said and considered after a very, very up and down race. We saw a safety car. We saw rain come at us. We saw changeable conditions, massive crashes. You, Mr. Shen J, Mr. Jonathan Shen, taking the race win here in round three after a very, very good campaign. You made up a ton of positions. How are you feeling? Well, I mean, I feel great about the win, but it was uh, a lot of luck involved. You know, I think this is like the most luck I've ever had in one single race. You know, in quality, I was just, I, I was unprepared. You know, I had no setup. Uh, and I had no practice because I didn't really have time. So, yeah, you know, I invalidated last lap, not intentionally. I wasn't trying to go for P11, but, you know, luckily got the P P12. Uh, so I was just basically got free uh, mediums. And I hit Yari pretty hard when he spun in the first stint. Got no wing damage. Um, got the incredibly lucky safety car. And then spent to the pit lane which I thought I, I screwed the win there. But yeah, another VSC to save me from, from losing with the five seconds. So yeah, I mean, it's it's great to win, but uh, this one was a lot down to luck more than uh, driving skill. <laughs> well, at the very least, you're honest and you come through and you call the race what it is. And it was a very up and down race. We had the weather come through, the safety car, as you said, very lucky. Next week, a circuit that has been... Uh, well, you've driven it in the MRL for some time. Spa, it's got a bit of a history with us in the league for providing some, I'll say, unique races. How are you looking with Freeware ahead for Belgium? Uh, Belgium definitely a track that I would like more than, than Russia or Netherlands. Uh, yeah, so I, I think I'll look forward to the race. Probably the best track uh, like Calder so far. You know, Hopefully I didn't use up all my luck today. I can get some more next week. Because, uh, yeah, I definitely used a large portion of it today. Well, any words for the viewers before we finish things up? It was a great drive, a great win. It's a solid haul of points for you, and I imagine it's going to give you a good push into Spa next week. 
Uh, well, uh, I don't know. Give tell Codemasters to give me some more safety cars and VSCs and stuff uh, <laughs> for my strategy. That'd be great. You know, any viewer donations to Codemasters, you know, bribes to Codemasters, anything oh, like that. Would wow. Be, would really, be you really, you really want the the yellow flags and safety cars? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm All sure right. Codemasters will oblige. Well, I we'll, we'll we'll just have to see about that, Shenji. But of course. Congratulations. It is victory in Russia for you. And of course, we'll see you next week in Spa. Adios. That was Shenje, everybody. What a legendary race this was. We had a massive crash. We had a great win. We had a lot of different strategy dynamics coming through to play. We had the wet weather. Man, did I ever love it. I hope you all loved it as well. The replay will be out soon on the YouTube channel. And of course, well, we'll be back this Saturday for champions division i am very very excited 3 p.m 3 p.m eastern daylight time 8 p.m british summertime and 9 p.m for those of you in central europe of course we are going to be going racing here in russia for our seventh and final race around sochi with the champions division following that at 5 5 30 depending on how well and how long that race goes well we're going to be with a 100% race around the Netherlands. And I can't wait to see you all for that action, of course. If you enjoyed the stream, thank you for being here. Hit that follow button if you're new. We're going to have a raid. My name's Strifium, and we'll see you all in the next one.